Welcome back to the Rope Access channel. Last time we talked about rigging, we were talking about a basic rigging. This time we're going to expand a bit more on the different possibilities there are. And we're going to be talking about a small Y hang. Let's get into it. The basic rigging we used when we had two 15KN anchor points, one rope, second rope, we were good. We could combine them in a basic rigging where the load is shared. But what if you have two anchor points, which let's say are 1200 kilos, because we're in the Netherlands, for instance, and our anchor points are 1200 kilonewtons, 12 kilonewtons, and we need 15 K and according to Arata. So we need to combine anchor points. So one way to do that is with a Y hang, a small Y hang. To create a Y hang, we start off with a simple figure of eight knot. You could use a figure of nine as well. But we have this video out that will show you why you should not use it. So if you want to see how you make this knot, check the video up there. Now I need to make a butterfly knot with the loop going to this anchor point with the butterfly here. So then the load will be distributed equally among the anchor points. If you want to learn how to tie a butterfly knot, check the video up there. We have so many videos out already. I guess the loop like this. It's going to be somewhere around here. Tying the knot Tying the knot will shorten it a little bit, so you always have to adjust somewhat. I tie my butterfly. Put it in. This is not what we want to see, because it's not very balanced. So I'll make this one a little bit shorter by pushing it through the knot. And if I do that, then this loop will get longer, something around here. A little bit more. Sort of. So what we have here is one butterfly with a long loop and we have an angle of approximately 60 degrees. In another video I will be talking about rigging angles and what you should pay attention to. But we are, we are aiming at somewhere 60 to 90-ish degrees like this. I've distributed the load in this instance. If this would be 60 degrees, it would be like 60% each anchor almost. I'm rounding up, rounding down. So I have one set of ropes and I would need to double it up if I want to have a load share. Oh, hang on. Future Alex here. Um, while editing this, I'm noticing that it might not actually be clear what I'm trying to tell you here. So I've shown you how to rig a Y hang. Now, a small Y hang. A small Y hang can have several uses. If we are using it like what I'm telling you right now to share the load of two anchor point among two anchor points because they're not strong enough or don't meet our required standards then what I've rigged now is only one rope if I need to rig my second rope I would need two other anchor points I cannot use the same ones as I have done now I so in total I would need four anchor points two anchor points per rope four for one system. Back to the video. So this is what a basic Y hang looks like with a Alpine butterfly, but we can also use a bunny nut. So the bunny nut. Now we need to try and guess what length of rope we should use. So this is my bite. I fold it over and I'm gonna see if the, this would be long enough for a bunny nut. If I have this here, and the other one is the same length. We tie a little bit of the knot. We should be getting close to where we want to end up. So I tie, the, I tie the bunny the same as in the video you can watch. Surprise, surprise, up there. 
but this time with a little bit longer loops than in that video. I take care that the common strand is at the top. And now let's see how we end up. Perfect. So again, we have an angle, probably about 75 degrees, which is less than 90, below 60, 90, somewhere in there. So we're distributing the load in a bunny knot. So with these two knots, we can make a small Y hang. If we need a system to descend on, I would just need to add another rope and then I would be good for a small Y hang. And a small Y hang ready for use would look like this. I have two ropes, two figure of eight knots, two alpine butterflies, and I can descend on here. The angles are less than 90 degrees. 90 degrees would be good as well. If one anchor would break, I would have a small swing, if, which is allowed. Are there different ways of rigging stuff like this? Yes, there are, but this is very acceptable according to the Arata ICOP. So a small Y hang is sort of like a, a small rope to rope transfer. You only need one extra point of attachment. If I would be going further than one meter, then we're gonna treat it as a large Y hang and things will change, but that's not in the level one syllabus in the Arata ICOP. That's it for this video. These beautiful alpine butterflies were sponsored by Industrieel Klimme. You know what training center it is in Amsterdam, in the Netherlands, well, just north of Amsterdam, where we teach Arata, GWO, and any work at high training you'd like. If you're interested in buying ropes or anchor points or all the beautiful equipment we have here, you can visit the web store. Link will be in the description. And if you order through that link, you will get a nice little discount and you support the channel, which would be awesome. I will see you in the next time. Stay connected.